11 20 august 25th and today is a little bit of a different video i am getting my mcat score back today and my friend just texted me that it's out i'm literally shaking i'm so nervous i could barely sleep last night because i'm so scared so just to preface this i am a pre-med student at penn state and i'm in a medical program where I can matriculate to medical school as long as I meet the GPA requirement as well as the 504 on the MCAT and not just the 504 I need a 126 in every section so if I don't meet the 126 I would have to retake it and they would average the scores so yeah I mean like I could always retake it but it's something I really don't want to do because I spent like eight to nine hours sitting down on my butt all summer for two months just studying all day and I really don't want to do it again uh, also like I don't know it's just like I know I know this isn't true but I feel like if I fail or if I don't get the score that I need I'll be really disappointed in myself and just like I'll feel like I'm disappointing like my family like my parents and my friends who have like supported me throughout the whole summer when I was studying so yeah I just I don't want to do that and yeah I know like this test does not define me I know like it's not in my hands it's God's hands but like yeah I just I'm scared but oh my god deep breaths okay I'm gonna log in I don't know if it shows you your score right away when you log in but I'm just gonna go to the MCAT official prep user portal user portal i'm already logged in where does it say get scores hold on maybe if i press get scores mcat oh my god okay get mcat test scores i'm gonna press the button oh my god i need to sign in oh my god oh my god oh my god i thought i was already signed in Okay, I'm signing in. Okay, it says view scores. I'm gonna press the button now. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. My heart is like shaking. Okay. Oh my god. section because it was so hard like I'm not really good at organic chemistry I got a 127 oh my god I knew it was gonna be close with that one I knew I knew I wasn't gonna get like a really high score in that one. Oh my god oh my god guys in psych I got a 132 I got a hundred I got the hundredth percentile in psych how how I literally guessed on some how oh my god I'm, wait what okay and then okay i got 127 on chem 130 on cars 128 on bio and 132 in psych so i got a 517 and that's the 94th percentile oh my god guys you don't understand how stressed i was this summer because like the whole summer i couldn't get above a 125 in the biochem section and like I only raise it to like 126 like two weeks before the test so oh my god oh my god oh my god okay I'm gonna call my I'm gonna call my dad I'm gonna call my dad hopefully he's home and he'll he's picking up the phone oh my god oh my god oh my god okay I'm calling my dad I did so good. Dad, please pick up. Your call is 
been forwarded to it. Hmm. He didn't pick up. I'm calling mom. Mom, please pick up the phone. She's probably at work. Probably ended the call. What about my sister? She's probably starting school. Actually, no. Oh my god, my dad's calling you back. Appa? Wait, dad, you're on speaker, by the way. Yeah, I'm a speaker. No, I know, but I have you on speaker. Okay. I just checked my score, Appa. Okay. Do you want to know what I got? Yes. I got a 517. Oh, that's great. I got a 127 in chem, a 130 in cars, a 128 in bio, and a 132 in psych. Wow, you just aced it in psych. I don't know how I did. I genuinely don't know how I did. Like, I literally, like, guessed on a few of them, but I was just like, I don't know how. I don't know how. Oh, wow. So your um, weakest was um, chemistry. I told you it would be. I told you it would be. Yeah. But at least it passed. That's what's important. Yeah, I knew it was going to be like a 126 or 127 if I passed. Right, right. So it, that's, the, that's the important thing you passed. So you, you can relax. Oh, my God. Dad, I got the 94th percentile. I'm so happy. I know. You deserve it. I cannot believe it. Like, I did, I did better than, like... Almost all my practice, like my all my practice tests. Great, Rachel. I know. I'm like I tried to call mom, but she's working, so. She's working, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I was so scared to check. I know, I know. That's great. I know. I can't believe it. I genuinely See, can't you, believe it. If you apply yourself, you can do it. I know. What the heck? I did it. I'm I'm so proud of myself, but also like, thank you guys for helping me and stuff. Uh huh. Good job, Rachel. Yeah. You should thank Chloe, because Chloe was your MVP. Looking to you. I know. <laughs> thank you, Chloe. I don't know where she is. She's right there, right next to me. Thank you, Chloe. You were the best. Chloe's just looking. Okay. Chloe, I'll give you a treat. Okay. Yeah. Should I go? And... I can. You can go. We'll talk later. Okay. Bye, Dad. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. Okay, so also I just wanted to say that I took a bunch of vlogs throughout the summer of like all my progress because I was extremely worried and unconfident. I had a 496 starting out when I was practicing and even one and a half months into studying, I was still getting a 496 on the practice test. So if you would like to see a video of all those logs put together in the three month span, then let me know maybe in the comments below. But if not, I might still post it. <laughs> we'll see. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. Oh my gosh. That means as long as I get the GPA this semester, I'm going to medical school next year. Yay! I'm so excited. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to text my friends. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna order something like really good for dinner tonight. I'm gonna eat and treat myself because I deserve it. Also, I just wanna say thank you to all my friends that prayed for me, all my friends that texted me the night before, the morning of, and just reassured me that I would do great. Cause honestly, it really helped a lot knowing that people were praying for me and thinking about me. Yeah, so thank you to all my friends at school and back home, and thank you to my family. Thank you to everyone that supported me. Thank you to my dog. She studied with me all summer, and I could not have done it without her. I'd been so lonely. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just texted my friend, he passed too. <laughs> Because, like, I don't know. I feel like because we're all in this program together, I get so excited. Like, whenever we all, like, you know, like, succeed and get past the next stage. Because, like, we've been together since, like, freshman year. So, it's so cool to, like, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, I can't believe this hurdle's over. I cannot believe it, genuinely. Like, my freshman year, I was, like, I always knew that I was going to take the MCAT this summer. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to study for it right now because I'm taking it, you know, before junior year. That's so far away. And, like, it's already done. And I'm about to graduate undergrad this semester. That's crazy.
crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I had so many doubts this summer about myself like I literally had like a bunch of mental breakdowns I literally fainted at one point if I had post the video of my logs you will see that but it was all worth it I guess oh. and also thank you to my friends who helped me study because a lot of my older friends gave me study tips and genuinely like changed the game for me because if I did not get those study tips I would not have done this well like they really helped me like strategize and told me like what to focus on and things like that I can make a separate video talking about how I studied for the MCAT and how I got the 94th percentile yeah because I am I promise you I'm not the smartest person in the world I have to work really really hard to achieve everything that I achieve academically so I will give you some good tips I guess for people that aren't like naturally gifted and like you know with like great intelligence you can do it believe in yourself believe in yourself yeah it seems so impossible sometimes when you're studying all that material but I promise you it will end it will get so much better and you will do great maybe I'll show you what I eat later but that's it for now so there's my scores the 127 on chem 130 cars 128 bio and 132 psych I don't know how I did that How do you feel about finishing your MCAT today? I'm very happy. I'm gonna eat a lot now. Okay, sounds good. Sonali, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel pretty calm actually, but I think it's not gonna go good, but it's fine. It doesn't even matter. No, yeah. no, exactly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then we have pizza. As long as Rachel's not giving me stress anymore, it's fine. <laughs> Excuse me, that's my specialty. Did you know I bumped into two more walls? I was walls about to say that. <laughs> on the way here. How? <laughs> how, do, how are you like this spatially unaware? See, that's why I'm scared of driving. True. Do you not drive at all? No, see, I drive. It's just like a scary thing. For everybody else in the world. Yeah, road. for everyone. <laughs> p.m. and I haven't called my sister and my mom yet so I'm gonna get them on the phone right now. Hi. Hi Rachel. <laughs> Hi guys. So Tandy told me some good news. Yes. Yes. Congratulations Rachel. I knew you could do it. We're so proud. Thank you. Someone just flushed the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing Sarah? Congratulations Rachel. We're so proud of all your hard work and dedication. I know Rachel, you've worked really hard. Chloe says, Chloe says. Where's Chloe? Chloe's right here. Ah, Chloe. Chloe. I'm so happy for you Rachel. What a relief. I know, I know. I know. I was so scared that like I wasn't going to pass like one of the sections. Right. I was working so I couldn't respond. I know. Time. I was like, I was sad because I tried to call dad first and then he didn't pick uh -huh. up and then I tried to call you and then you didn't pick up and Sarah didn't pick up and then finally dad called me back. I was your last option? <laughs> I mean, bro, you don't care as much, I feel like. Wow, do you feel relieved? What do you think, Rachel? That was a big milestone. I felt so relieved because like, I didn't think that I, I don't know, I didn't, well first of all, I didn't think I was going to get a 517, like that's like really high for me, like because I, on my practice test, the highest I think I got was a 516 on the last one. Oh Rachel, you're a smart cookie, I think you're really extremely smart, you just have to like push a little bit and you get the result. But I think you, or you taught yourself, Rachel, you look, you saw Khan Academy, you really mm -hmm. taught yourself. And also, you learned something last two years. This proves that you learned something. Yeah, you did learn something. I guess so. I guess oh, I learned something. <laughs> and this shows that you're competitive. You can go to med school yeah. and be competitive in the board exams oh, yeah. if you work hard. Obviously, I wanted to pass the MCAT, but I uh -huh. also wanted to like prove to myself that like, I could just, be just uh, as good as other medical. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, medical yeah, school students. Definitely. Wait, look at my doggies on FaceTime. Chloe, I miss you. I miss you, Chloe. Mm -hmm. 
Does she see me? I mean, she's looking. Well, she's, she's looking, looking at me. She's looking at me. <laughs> I love you, Clo Clo. I love you, baby. I miss you so much. Okay. I miss you. Last bite. So I know this was a very different type of video for me and my channel, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of my medical school, like pre-med medical school journey to becoming a doctor. I'll probably try to take you guys with me on that journey because it's going to be very long and very hard. So yeah, but this is just the beginning and I, I'm so excited. So yay. Bye guys.